Okay, real fast, I'm gonna try to record what I was gonna write because it might be easier and I wanna reuse it. So today's call was amazing. Today's June 13th. We had that um, leadership call with Sam Higginson and a whole bunch of um, really awesome independent reps from directors to presidential elite. We heard from the best of them today and they were very well prepared and very well organized. Um, so the first thing Sam asked us to do, and you guys have seen this before, if you've watched or looked at or read training, what is your why? He said, get that pencil out and write it down. Um, he sat for a second and he said, okay, now I want you to write down why is that your why? So you've probably done the drill. Keep asking yourself why. Dig deep. Figure it out. Then we talked through, or then we had multiple speakers. I'll give you what I wrote down from each speaker, and then I'll kind of do my quick takeaways. So the first, take, the first speaker, Tracy, her takeaways were don't give up, continue to work on your why because it will continue to develop, continue to work on your plan B in life. For her, the story was Zaya was her plan B. Looks like she has an exciting announcement coming soon about real work. Um, so she says um, it might be there in case you need it in the future and then figure out how to support your community. And then we heard from Jonette, a, a director. Her takeaways were um, reminding us that deep down, every potential rep will want to know and seek how Zaya will fit into their life. And she really preached be genuine. Um, I took away from that personally that um, you might tell people it's like kids, if you're going to you know, really work the business, you, you have to stay committed to it. Um, or if you want it for the discount, maybe don't set your goals too high so you don't get discouraged. Okay, then next was Jill. Her takeaway was the list. So she said it's very important to write down those potential candidates, but also to write down why you think they would be interested in Zaya. But also remember to be different or be open to a different timeline than you think, but start the conversation. So you may think this person's ready to jump in, but it may not be their time. So be open to that, but don't um, don't forget to work your list. And then she said, think about why you feel like Zaya will fit into their life. I think I already said that. Okay, then we heard from our upline, uh, Sarah Anderson, with the reach out. So don't create the list and do nothing. If you made the list, use it. Contact those on the list. The social media sites are only your billboard. Don't assume that people see everything you post. You have to reach out. Categorize your list, host, rep, customer. Keep adding to the list. Your list is adding to your business, adding to your awareness and getting those eyes on you. Um, she talked through verbiage, which was very helpful, giving examples and said, focus on being authentic. Um, you need to let them know why you are reaching out to them um, and end with a question. Would you be interested in trying or pursuing the clothes or purchasing the clothes, um, the quality clothes? I think you'd be great at what I do. Can, can I send you some more information about becoming a Zaya rep? Reach out to see how being a part of Zaya will help them and invite people to look at what you are doing to see how it may benefit them. So we have a huge scope of clothing and she said it's different for everybody. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's the distraction from something else, and sometimes it's the community. Then we heard from someone else, I didn't write their name down, about the follow-up. And uh, she started talking through the three types of people that you follow up with, but you know, again, it's kind of like customers, hosts, reps. And so people you've reached out to, follow up with them. Party attendees, friend them during the party, um, me direct message them in the party, um, make sure they're seeing your posts, follow up with them to ask if you can help them. And then obviously she talked through having a Zaya tracker, which you can get a similar spreadsheet from our upline team, Zaya Papaya. And then she says she keeps track of um, all the reach outs and every single person who orders gets asked to host or rep. So, and then we heard from the next person about parties. What is the best way to get customers? connect with people, meet new goal, meet, meet new people, et cetera, et cetera. She asked a lot of questions and she said, parties, it is our lifeline. So she also talked through a social media launch formula, create curiosity, funnel um, that curiosity into your group. Um, your host is a big influence and then your goal should be the four parties per month and book four parties from each party and have fun. And then we had... Um, I think a couple other things like share um, the vision. We had someone talking about 
um, the create a vision and share your goals and your maybe even your to do with with to do list with someone to help hold you accountable. So then my main takeaways or to do's whatever were step one: start with the list, fifty to hundred people, and why each one you, you might be approaching for what reason. Step two. Reach out to your list. Use it. Be authentic, short, and concise. Step three, follow up. Step four, hold parties. They're essential to us. Step five, be a part of this business. Get involved in our community. Invest in the resources. Don't get discouraged about hearing no. Get the, get the yeses. Don't forget personal development and create your vision. So that's step six, create your vision. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Bye. Have a great weekend.